Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's Beer 30. Let's go take a walk, see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. I do appreciate it. Today's beer uh, comes from uh, One Well Brewing. Uh, They're out of uh, Michigan. This is their Sweet Water Street, which is an American porter, coming in at 7.10%. Uh, big 16 ounce can, dates on the bottom of it, and it does have the ABV listed on the side. Uh, it says here, coffee, donut, beer, this porter combines a labor of love from a Sweetwater donut meal and a special organic coffee from Water Street Coffee Roasters. It's the best way to enjoy your breakfast staples all day long. What's not to love? So, uh, maybe this will be a good breakfast beer. This is the final beer of the evening for me today. This was, like I said, sent to me by Dave. He sent me a nice package uh, from his neck of the woods up there. So Dave, thanks a bunch, my brother. I do appreciate it. Uh, I don't know how big this brewery is. Uh, we did one the other day that wasn't even listed on Untapped or, or Beer Advocate. This one, this particular one is. So uh, usually finish up with something a little bigger than a 7.1%, uh, but uh, it is what it is. So uh, let's get on with this. Uh, let me jump over to Untapped and see if they have any additional information about the same thing, sweet water donuts blended with Water Street coffee. Uh, they have it at 49 IBUs on this particular beer. So we got the ABV, we got the IBUs, and we got the can on date on the bottom of it. So two big thumbs up to those guys for doing that. Uh, from what I can take, they're fairly small or new or both uh, in the brewing, and they are dating their stuff. So, I mean, that's what you need from uh, from the breweries to make an educated purchase, especially when you get to this style of beer, uh, ABV and the canned on date. Uh, so that way you know what year it was done, what was done in the beginning of the year, middle of the year, end of the year, uh, in case you want to do a side-by-side -side for multiple different years. So, uh I'm looking forward to this. Uh, I don't know what to expect from this. A lot of these uh, donut beers are kind of lackluster and kind of yucky. Uh, but Rogue did some of these donut beers a while back, and they're pink Pepto Bismol bottles, and I thought that I thought they were awful. I thought they were absolutely disgusting. So let's see what this brings. Maybe this will change my mind. Uh, a lot of these coffee beers are good breakfast beers, especially you're not getting into a uh, super imperial at 10, 11, 12 percent. This is a 7 percent. You could probably have this on the weekend uh, with your breakfast uh, as long as you're not going to work. I think your employers probably fan on you drinking beer before you come to work. Most of them do. So uh, good weekend beer probably. So let's find out. That's all we need to talk about. So it is time. Big 16 ounce can. Into the glass we shall go. And I'm going to pour it fairly aggressive, guys. I'm not going to be able to get all this 16 ounce in there. But I will do the back end pour before I go off camera. And that is all she wrote right there. Nice finger of head on that. Uh, over into the light. Uh, pretty dark, but I am getting some red ruby tinges around the thin part of the glass here on the solvent beer glass. To the nose we go. All right, guys, right off the bat, I am getting rich roasted malt, caramel toffee, maybe a little black molasses. Little hints of some coffee on the nose. Not getting any kind of donuts on there. 
And I just poured it. So the more it opens up, sets in the glass, the more aromas and flavors. And as it comes up to room temperature, the more those flavors are going to be pronounced. And I always let all of my beers come up to room temperature, no matter what style it is. Whether it's a ale, or a pale ale, IPA, stout, porter, I do. Now the lagers, I kind of drink a little faster because... Everybody knows that a hot lager is not an enjoyable beer to drink, but I don't do a whole lot of lagers. I don't buy lagers anymore. I just do the ones people send me. So, And in the 30 seconds or so that I've been flapping my gums, I am getting a little more coffee on the nose. It smells decent. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Dave. No donuts in this. Rich roasted malt, caramel toffee, black molasses. Hints of some coffee. It's not Sumatra coffee or espresso. Nothing that's off the chain coffee. It is there, but it is subdued. Not getting any donuts, guys. So, uh, back in pour. And we're going to take this out on the deck. And I'm going to work on my stogie that I've got out there. And uh, we'll see what where this ends up once it comes up to room temperature. I'll be right back. All right, guys. I'm back. Got just a little, a little left here. Uh, decent beer. Not outstanding. Not world class. Not anything like that. Not getting the donuts. The coffee is a little subdued, rich roasted malt, caramel, toffee, maybe a hint of black uh, molasses, and coffee is a little on the subdued side, guys. I would not probably buy this beer here if it was available. This beer company, uh, One Well Brewing, seems to be a new brewery that's producing transitional beers. Something if you want to get off the macro lagers and try something with a little more taste and uh, Not something that's going to blow your pal out of your mouth like a New England style beer or something with heavy bitterness or anything like that uh, Definitely had better breakfast beers than this uh, The coffee is just a little too subdued and as far as donuts Nada, nada on the nose, I'm getting a rich roasted malt, caramel, and toppy. Maybe a little black molasses. Not even getting a, a big coffee note on it. And definitely not getting the donuts. Final chug. Alcohol is well hidden for a 7 percenter. Uh, other than that, it's a B beer to me, guys. Uh, this is the second one from this brewery that I've had. Uh, this one's a little more lackluster than the other one I had, which was a New England style, but it was very watered down, more bittersweet or unsweetened grapefruit. Uh, this one, same deal. Uh, reminds me a lot of the Highlander beers uh, that are in the Porter Stout, low ABV Porter Stout category. Uh, if I'm if I'm going to spend my money on uh, a porter or a stout, uh, I'm looking for an eight percent or above, guys. Uh, something to get a little more body, a little creamier mouthfeel. Uh, then something seven percent or lower. Uh, I was expecting a little more from this beer than I got. So, B for me, guys. Eighty-five, right down in the middle. I'm gonna go against the grade on this one, uh, but I've had quite a few beers and I've had better beers than this. So, Dave, I'm so sorry, buddy. Uh, this is not that impressive. Uh, Beer Advocate has a 4.17, exceptional. Not even going there. If you've never had uh, a coffee uh, porter, maybe this will blow your hair back or your socks off. Beer tastes are very subjective. I've never had one of these styles of beer. This would probably be pretty impressive to me, but I have. 
so it's not that impressive. There are much better coffee beers out than this one. Uh, over to Untapped. Untapped has a 3.83. I'm not even going there, guys. Uh, it's a B beer to me. Uh, and that's where I'm going to put it. 85 right down the middle. So if you've had this one from One Well Brewing, this is their Sweet Water Street uh, Porter. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, I would probably not buy this beer, guys, if it was available here. Uh, I hate to say that. Uh, maybe this is something that Dave thought was impressive. Uh, I do not. I do not. Uh, Ten years ago, I may have thought it was impressive. But right now, there's a lot better beers out than this that have bigger coffee aroma. And as far as having a donut beer, I've yet to find one that's uh, <laughs> impressive. So with that being said, if you've had this one, let me know what you think. Tell me to meet again. Let's go see what's in the fridge.